Mm, mm, mm. Back. We're back like we never left. All right, y'all. So, I got an idea about how I want this video to go. But, honey, you know, just because you have an idea don't mean that the stuff go like how you want. So, I've been seeing, uh, Lord, Negro. I've been, hey, come here. Lord, the dog. Look, look, Wait a minute. Okay. I thought something was wrong with him. Now he all right. <clears throat> yeah, he all right. <laughs> anyway, um, 2.0, stop. Two .0, 2.0, get down. I may have to discipline a dog. 2.0. What I just told you. Didn't I say? She make it where I have to stand up. Then when I stand up, it's like she know I'm serious. That's how you know they just like children. She want to play with the cat I done told her. She too rough. She likes to hold the cat down and lick him until his fur lay down. They don't like that. Anyway. Um, I have been seeing them herb drying rats on the YouTube, and uh, so I seen Aisha had one. Looked like she had some success, so I went on and bought me one. I didn't get no real, real big one, uh, but it come with the little thing for the hanging and the little carabiner. And it even came with some little cutters. Now, I got some of these cutters. These little cheap. Well, these got a curved tongue. But still, these these little pruners, they for thin stuff to me. I mean, I'll try them. But to me, I put money on them. They, they more for, for thin things. But anyhow, so I'm just opening this up. So I can see. Ooh, it's fancy. Ooh, Lord. Why y'all didn't tell me the thing was gonna leap open like that? Look how big that sucker got. My God, it's like a jack in a box. Ooh, that's heart attack inducing. Okay. What? Surprise of my life. Okay, let me see how I'm gonna hang. I may not even need the carabiner. Like I need, you know, I may end up hanging this, um, cow, this thing. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to bag up and show y'all how big it is. You know what this remind me of? Y'all know the whiz when them things was in the trash can. And they was singing it. They was, they had some music. Do, 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 do. That music, that would remind me of. Hell, I ain't tall enough. Hold on. This is where I wish that growth spurt would have kicked in. Hush that noise. Because I'm not going to tell you again. You can't play with that dog. With that cat. Two point get out my door. I done told you. Okay. Oh, Lord. I don't need to see me, but look at that. Hey, did I? It is nice. Okay, now let me see. Let me get my little stuff. I'm gonna put all this back in here. And I try to be responsible. Try to be an adult. Try to be an adult. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this. But I'm gonna take y'all with me. Take y'all with me over here. I hope don't nobody bother me. So this time has been growing and growing and growing. And I have been needing to cut this time back but I have negated to do so until today so let me set y'all to where y'all can see and see and then we'll just we'll just cut time and talk uh, I'm just gonna sit on the ground because I ain't gonna be fancy. 
rest of the day and maybe the people won't see me. Okay, so my plan is to cut this time back. This time has all but taken over everything over here. And I'm gonna put it in that herb drying rack and dry it. That's my intention. Now these are actually cutting decently on these kind of, y'all know time kind of got some woody stumps. And um, I always, I mean, my this time stays growing year round, but sometime I want some dry time to uh, cut some of this grass out the way. Sometimes I be wanting some dry time already in the house. A lot of time I come out here and just harvest it fresh. Hey, Chrissy, come on. You hear your sister in there cutting up? This is sin and shame, ain't it? I know it is. And be careful now, this is short. I'm cutting. Don't get nothing in the way of the cutting procedure. Anyway, y'all, so. Uh, my garden is really trying to do a little something. Uh, now that it has cooled out. Um, the peppers are looking so good and I'm still going to do this video and tell y'all, tell you and show you. You have all these people on, on YouTube want to tell you to plant this and plant that and plant this. They ain't hardly got no leaves on. Baby boy, I'm not going to be able to do. Your behind is in the way. Well, don't turn my box. That box ain't for you. I know you like boxes. Don't sit in that box. Chris, you better not sit in that box. I brought this on myself. I know what kind of pets I have. I brought it on myself. Chris. Sit on that side of the box. Don't sit on the side where I'm putting the time in. Here you come back. Jeez. Wait, I can't see. You're going to get your eyelids cut off. Sir. Sir. Don't put your tail in between. How about you just... <clears throat> how about you just lay down over there in the sweet potatoes? No. Lord knows you don't follow the direction no how. I know you probably want some food. I need to feed you. I know. I ain't forgot. Okay, but you don't eat time. Anyhow, this has turned into thank you for laying down. And then you got right back. This has turned into a whole circus. Anyway, um. But yeah, my foul garden. Ooh. Yes, child, the tomatoes, the tomatoes. All this time, I've been wanting the tomatoes to get some act right. And now they seem like they want to get some act right. They're all of a sudden producing, putting on all these tomatoes, um, which is fabulous. Yeah, baby, why, why are you grasping at me? Ooh, I got time leaves going everywhere. Um... I'm also picking pine straw out of this. If you wonder why I'm not just cutting it and putting it in the box. Pine straw falls over here and gets tangled up in this. Um, this lamb here is just about dead. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I have yet to show y'all what proper what you should be planting because, like I said, so many people do these videos. Here's what's a plant involved. And they just telling you this stuff, but they're not really showing you. And I know for a fact because I've watched some of them. They have no clue what they're talking about. Um, and I want to put this out there as a PSA. Just because somebody has a gardening YouTube channel, please don't always take it as they know what they're doing. Um, there's a lot of people out here that if you are a real gardener or a halfway season gardener, when you, because you will notice in my comments, people are saying, yeah, it's certain people that, yeah, you know, I don't watch them no more. This, then, because they real gardeners and they know that that's not how stuff works. 
you know some of these people are showing you stuff and some of y'all because you're not a seasoned gardener or it could just be because you're not really paying attention real close you're not connecting the dots that that ain't really how that go you know what i mean people will give you crazy advice let me put it to you like this you cannot take the advice of everybody that's anything in life not just going you can't take the advice of everybody in life i'm gonna be honest like, if you're married, personally, I wouldn't take the advice of someone who's been married six or seven times and they're on divorce number uh, seven or eight. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's just not wise. Um, you might want to find somebody, and I'm not saying they could only be married once. Some people, you know, they don't get it right the first time. But when you when you're on marriage three four five six seven, you, it's it's something you're missing. You get what I'm saying? Those are the people that I'm talking about. The people when I say say that again for the people in the back row, those are the people in the back row sleep on their phone, not paying attention. You just keep doing the same stupid stuff over and over. Basically, you're not learning from your mistakes. You should be learning from your mistakes. Chris, Chris, don't walk over the time no more. Chris, you just trying to get attention now, buddy. That's what, thank you. He gonna lay on that side. I don't know if y'all can see him. He done laid on one half of the box. Y'all know how cats like boxes. It never fails. You know, like I said, I brought this on myself. When I got that box, I was not thinking. See, that's me not learning from my mistakes. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? Every moment should be a learning moment. Um, but anyhow, that being said, Giving this a haircut is more intricate than I thought it was going to be. Um, but see, this is why you see all this up under here. A lot of these branches have died off because I didn't. I never cut. I never clipped. I never, you know what I'm saying? And so a lot of the older branches died off. It made new branches. It, you know, did all these different things. And um, so, yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, don't take the advice of everybody on YouTube just because they have a YouTube channel. Um, a lot of times what I do is when I find a channel that I may like or whatever, I'll listen to them for a while. See, do it sound like they got any sense. Uh, or I'll listen for consistency. If I don't see consistency... Because I believe that's a, you know, consistency is something that a lot of people overlook as a good quality. When you're not consistent in a lot of things in life, you'll notice you won't success, be successful in a lot of things in life. Because you're everywhere. You help the skeleton. You know what I'm saying? you just everywhere. So, take some time before you just start listening to people. Or sometimes people will just write you and be saying anything and i'm not trying to be funny everybody that's a good gardener uh does not have a youtube channel be careful in your comment sections for instance i have certain people like suzette she doesn't have a gardening channel but i can tell she's a good gardener by some of the comments that she's left or advice or tips or whatever that she's left i can just tell but that's not from one or two comments. That's from, I mean, I don't know how many comments Suzette's left. It's, it's probably in the hundreds because she leaves comments all the time. Um, so it's, you know, I'm not saying just automatically discount a person. I'm just saying, you know, or sometimes when they leave, come think about it. Like, do that make any sense? You know what I'm saying? Do that make any sense? I'm going to use an example. I hope y'all went and checked out those channels. Went and checked out Angela's, Angela's Garden and Delight. Went and checked out her channel. Now, if you checked out her channel here recently, she posted where she harvested some corn. Now, for the people who have grown corn, y'all go over there and look. And, and you will see what I'm saying. So, she harvested the corn. And she had a lot of what? country folks called misses what is a miss so when you have an ear of corn when you see it in the store 
Um, and I'm talking about corn that's uh, on the cob, still got the shuck on. When you shuck it, you look and it has beautiful kernels, rolls all the way down, all the way down. Now, if you've never grown corn before or you've never looked up anything before about corn, and I'm going to do a whole video on that as well because I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. Um, those silks, all of those silks, each one of those little strands of silk goes to one kernel. That the end of that silk sticks up out of that ear when it's on the plant. The pollen must get on the end of that silk in order to pollinate that one kernel. That's why when you open that corn, you'll see what look like hundreds of those strands of that silk. That's because you have the, the same amount of kernels, hundreds, down in there. And each one of those has to get pollen on it to, uh, each one of those has to get pollen on it to, to actually form into a kernel. Well, if you've ever grown corn and you'll notice, or you get bought corn and you notice here and there, you may have some misses. Like you have a row of kernels and then you have a miss row of kernels and a miss and I think where she got confused is when she opened hers I think that that cob may have had 12 kernels well that looks you know it's like huh because you've never you're not going to see corn in the store with that many misses in it but I knew immediately what it was because I've grown corn before and I've had cobs like that if y'all go back on some old videos back when I grew, grew corn Y'all know I don't I don't really grow corn like that no more because uh corn is labor intensive. Corn requires quite a bit of space in order for you to get the pollination just right. Because anybody that grows corn, what's the first thing that usually happens? It starts tasseling and ain't got no ears on it. Well, when it's tasseling and making that fresh pollen and ain't got no ears on the plants, y'all tell me what's gonna happen to that to that pollen. It's a waste. And each plant is only gonna tassel one time. That's why when, when you, I mean, since the dawn of time, when the Native Americans were growing corn, they never grew 10 plants of corn. You got to grow at least 20, in my opinion, to get real good pollination, unless you're going to be on top of it, out there hand pollinating. And even hand pollinating, you still may not get it because, like I said, that stuff will tassel before it even get an ear on there. And if your ears ain't, that's what you got to understand about corn. You got to have the tassel that makes the pollen, and you got to have your silks at the same time. You see what I'm saying? The silks, your corn is the female part. That's the fruit. The, the tassel is the pollen. That's the male. You got to have both. It's just like, I don't know nobody get pregnant without a male and a female. It's humans, cats, dogs. You see what I'm saying? And I think so many people just have forgotten basic science, or maybe you wasn't taught basic science. You know, I hear so many people, hey, you ain't going to use that stuff. Okay, keep thinking that. Some of these basic foundational concepts, yes, you will. You will use them if you use your brain. You know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff, you have to be able to relate things. If people wonder why I can hold on there for me, because I related to stuff. When I learn people's names, I related to stuff. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate to say that, but I do. A lot of times in order for me to remember a name or to remember that I have to relate it to something or compare it to something or something like that. You get what I'm saying? And that's the easiest way to do it. That's how I feel like a good teacher know how to teach. They'll say, okay, well, they understand the concept of humans having babies. Need a male and a female. Same thing in the plant. See how easy that was? So simple. So simple. Because too many people make stuff rock to be rocket science and it's not rocket science. But then, and you know, I, I hate to say it, too many people, sometimes you have to know when you're not that bright. It's nothing wrong with not being a genius. It's nothing wrong with that. Because where you may not be one bright in one area, you may be, you know, a genius in another area. You know, I've met plenty of people that I know certain stuff, and they don't, I don't know what they know, and they don't know what I know, but when we come together, you know what I'm saying? So, um, Oh, all this pine straw. Anyway, um, so like I said, you know, you just have to bear all of those things in mind. But then, you know, she had people 
she had a lot of comments on that video and I don't mind it but I'm gonna be honest and tell you a lot of those people probably don't even guard they have no clue they just some people are so eager to leave a comment they just want to comment you know what I'm saying and that's fine interaction is fine some people especially in these age, these digital ages and post covid and stuff people want they just want to just comment just be comment they don't even really know what they talking about they just want to talk to somebody you have this is what i called it two dollar ass conversation people want two dollar conversation conversation ain't worth nothing but two dollars that means it's inexpensive cheap it's not worth anything they're just talking and that's fine because i shoot the breeze sometimes but I don't, uh, you know, you have to limit some of that shooting the breeze. And and I'm the type of person, I'm not going to leave you a comment and guess on something if I don't know what it is. But you have to understand a lot of people in the world will do that. And a lot of people will tell you to do things that they've never done or that they've, you know, errantly heard somewhere that somebody did and all of this be telling you to do stuff. I'm telling you, be cautious with that. And this is more for my newer people that's gardening. It's, it's more for y'all because I don't want y'all to fall in the pit hole listening to these fools. These fools will guide you wrong. I'm not saying I'm right on everything, but doggone it, I usually don't speak on it unless I can show you. I really don't, and you can ask you can ask my viewership. I don't play those games. A lot of times when I say something, I'm gonna show you the bad just, just so I can back it up because these people will say anything and post anything for clicks that's the world we live in now these people want all these clicks they want all this attention but the the the, the two dollar information and the two dollar conversation that's that's all you getting it's not to me it's not worth it i'm more valuable than two dollars i have just just you know just to be honest, I, I feel I'm more valuable than two dollars. Now, if you don't feel I'm more valuable than two dollars, hey, that's your opinion. That's fine. I, don't, I really don't give a rat's patoot about that. Um, but yeah, so you know, I have just learned how not to listen to certain people. Certain people is on here giving their advice about what to do in the garden. They don't even do that in their own garden. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, be careful with all that. Be careful who you watch. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say a lot of the bigger channels, them ain't the people who you need to be watching. Because some of them, you know, I saw a bigger channel one time telling people to prune out all the damage in their fruit trees. I ain't told them to research and look and try to see what it is. Just tell them, just prune it out. Prune. It depends on what kind of damage it is. You can't prune everything out. That's foolish to tell somebody to take a tree and cut it and cut it and cut it and cut it to within an inch of its life and, and then insinuate that, oh, it'll be fine after you do that. It's foolish. It's foolish. Can you prune trees and promote growth? Yes but if it depends on what kind of disease is in that tree if you're just trying to prune out disease being it behoove you to find let me turn this so y'all can kind of see what i'm doing i'm just picking this pine straw it will behoove you to find out what kind of disease that is before you go to pruning the hell and back because you may not be able to save that tree by pruning but see a lot of people don't want to tell you to go figure out what it is because that's going to take a little bit more time but i got news for you Anything you want in life, if it's worth having, it's worth your time, it's worth spending time, it's worth slowing down to figure out what it is. Versus you just continuing and keeping on to be foolish. Um, you know, so people may not like me saying that, but I'm just being honest. I, I'm just being honest. I'm not going to waste your, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to waste your time and tell you, oh yeah, just uh, prune the hell out of it. I don't even know what's on that tree. That's that's irresponsible. That's I hope y'all can see around this collard green. That's irresponsible. But you know, you can't fix everybody, but what I'm trying to do is warn you and, and show you, try to help you so that you won't fall in those pit holes because it's a lot of people. Y'all, I'm just cutting a lot of this dead out from up under here. When your time branches get kind of old and woody sometimes 
they get a lot of branches that aren't productive anymore. You see, I left a little green. That's so that uh, I'm, I'm also getting other stuff out of here. Pine straw, tree bark, because sometimes it's pine bark falls. But your time is, is woody like, so it's, it's tough. It can take it. I mean, I'm just kind of, I'm not being too, too rough, but I am pulling a lot of this out of here. But you see, I have cut that back. Now that's, and see, by me doing this, it is, it's gonna promote some growth because it's gonna be like, oh, I've gotten a haircut. But keep in mind, I'm harvesting right now. I'm not trying to prune out disease. You know what I'm saying? Be careful with that. Your fruit trees, are they cost too much for you to be doing stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? They cost too much for you to allow somebody to tell you something stupid for to do it. Then you do it and fool around and kill your tree. Because you can prune a tree too much to the point where you do shock the hell out of it and kill it. But like I said, be careful with these people. Some people I keep trying to tell y'all want y'all in misery with them. They want you struggling with them. Do not allow them people to have you on the struggle bus when you have no business on the struggle bus. Everybody shouldn't be on the struggle bus. Everybody should be on the come up bus. That's what bus we need to be on. When we be on the bus stop and we see the struggle bus come, we need to keep walking. Or we need to sit there. You let the idiots get on the struggle bus voluntarily. Like, I know you're going to struggle through stuff, but you shouldn't be voluntarily causing your own struggle or allowing other people to cause you to struggle. You know what I'm saying? You can do bad by yourself. So, you know, I just want my new gardeners to understand that because my little stuff that I'm putting out right now, it's kind of for my new gardeners. It's kind of for my, you know what I'm saying? So that y'all can um, not fall into, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put show y'all put this in here. This is, all this in this box is what I got. And then I'm also, I'm going to keep y'all posted on how this does, how long it takes to dry and all that. I'm probably not going to leave it right here. I'm probably actually going to put it up under um, I'm probably actually going to put it up under my carport. I get less sun back there but see I don't want this to go, this to, go to rain and, and then if it go to rain and, uh, that's, that's defeating the purpose of drying and stuff out. And also I'm not just going to slam these full. I'm probably going to take two things. Well, no. Nah. Mm -hmm. I probably can get it all in. Yeah, I can get it all in here. And feel like it. I don't know. Maybe I, sh maybe I should. I don't know. Let me separate. Separate. What I got to do. Separate. Ooh. Look at all this time. And it smells wonderful. I'm, I'm going to leave that like that for the day, y'all. We're going to see how it do. I'm going to let y'all know. Aisha got one. She said it's all right. I trust her. Cause I, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this to you why I, why I just said that. She's not the only one I trust. I trust other ones, too. When you have people who would be honest about their struggles and their successes will show you. You know what I'm saying? Uh different things and not uh hold back when you got people that only show you the good stuff i don't believe shit they say i'm just i'm just being real with you that ain't life y'all tell me i want somebody to get in the comments and tell me all oh, my life has been perfect i've never had any problems nothing's ever gone wrong please tell me who you are and what magic dust you eat every day um so that's why i say i don't i don't fall for the okie doke you know I'm not uh, in junior high anymore. I'm not, <laughs> now y'all have been jaded by a lot of things in life, but um, but I try to be objective. And if a person can't be objective, you know, cause I've seen it's so many gardeners <laughs> that put stuff in their garden. And because I'm using my head, I'm like, what happened to X, Y, Z? You don't never see that no more. What happened cause they died, they killed it, and they didn't want to tell you because they figured that's a fail. And they figure, oh, nobody will watch me if I'm failing. No, people need to know. Tell the people what you did wrong. That's foolish. And you know, it just it, it bothers me, you know. And I try not to be on my soapbox too much, but Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You're not you're not helping anybody who's new and serious to gardening. You're not helping them. You're not helping them by painting unicorns and fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? Show them how you're going. You're probably going to get bit by some bugs. 
ain't no problem Shit, if you human you're gonna get bit by some bug you're gonna have some stuff that's gonna die uh the weather ain't gonna cooperate you're gonna have seeds that ain't gonna germinate you're gonna have cuttings that don't take you go just tell the truth and then that way a person can say well so-and-so did say that you know what i'm saying that gives the people hope instead of you always painting your unicorns and fairy tales and then when they get out there in the first two or three seeds the planet died then they want to slit their wrists some people are y'all are low-key like that they when you haven't been taught how to deal with adversity how do you know how to deal with it until you at some point in time in your life you're forced to deal with adversity you see what i'm saying it doesn't matter how big or small um i know how to deal with adversity because I was trained early on, hey, probably a lot of stuff you try ain't gonna work. So just, you know, that's all right. Just keep trying, you know? You can't you can't just give up the first time, you know what I'm saying? And I won't lie, I developed an attitude that if you tell me I can't do it, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna kill myself trying to prove you wrong. Um. And it hasn't been many times that I haven't been able to prove somebody wrong. You know, people will tell you all kind of stuff. Oh, you're not going to be able to. No, that's not going to. No, okay. You, you tried and it may not work in your world because you give up. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Your determination and persistence ain't like mine. Now, you can try to get like mine, but you, you're going to have to toughen up. I keep trying to tell you all this. Being soft, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you can't have emotions or you can't. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when some stuff get hard you got to get harder you got to you see what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so for my new gardeners y'all just be careful out here and let me say this do not think that i'm saying that people are purposely doing this i'm very aware of the fact there are people who um they're not purposely trying to do certain things it's it was probably in their upbringing what I'm saying is they're doing it on a subconscious level. Your subconscious rules your conscious. You get what I'm saying? They're not consciously trying to do that. They may not even realize that they're doing it, but they are. Um, and what I'm saying is just call a spade a spade. Not saying they're a bad person, whatever. It's just the way they are. Um, it's just the way life is. Um, you got people that move in different ways. Uh, it just is what it is because i can learn from a all i can learn from an idiot too believe that or not um it'll teach me how to move idiots teach me how to move you get what i'm saying you start with that foolishness okay let me adjust myself because i can't control them so i make adjustments and people don't understand i make adjustments so fast adjustment be made you don't even know it's made i know it's made and you be standing there looking stupid um because like i said play me for a fool and i play fool for you uh but yeah, y'all, I'm going to keep y'all posted on how that time does in that dryer. Like I said, I'm probably going to move that um, because it is supposed to rain tomorrow. And that's defeating the purpose. I don't want that to get rained on. I want to put it, and I don't have no hook up under my porch to put it where it can hang good. But I got a place up under my carport that I can do that. So, uh, you know, when you tell somebody to go to the store and you send them, and then they done walked off and they done forgot something you just haul out the door randomly they don't have a telephone for you to you can't call them on a the telephone we got to do better people um with that being said until next time see you guys later